Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good day again everyone. So today we will be learning about the equation of a line. So basically all lines or all equations having um, two variables with the maximum exponent of one would be called a line, equation of a line. But um, equation of a line would have different forms as well. But yun nga, um, the general form or the general look of an equation of a line should be in the form of ax plus by is equal to c where in your a and b and c are um, numbers or real numbers and x and y would be your variables, okay? So basically, all x and y's, all the variables will be on the left side and all constants will be on the right side, okay? So this is mostly for on manipulating your given, meaning you need to transpose which uh, this and that and you need to evaluate this and that, okay? So the very first example that I will be discussing to you would be talking mo mostly about the concept of transposition okay so for example we have y is equal to negative 3x plus 4 now in this case um, you will notice that y is already on the left side of the equation but this x specifically negative 3x is all is on the right side so what we need to do is we need to transpose so the very first thing that we will be doing is transposition now uh, just a review transposition would just simply means mean that if you're adding or if the operation is addition or it's positive when you transpose it becomes subtraction and if you have subtraction transposition means it would become addition vice versa lang yan multiplication would become division and division would become multiplication okay so ito po yung cases natin pagdating sa transposition now in this given ito po um what we need to do is we need to transpose this negative 3x so, what would happen here is this 3x would become positive because the sign will change, giving you 3x plus y is equal to 4. So, now, why did we have this plus y? Because apparently, in the general form, the ax should be first. Then, it should be followed by by. Now, in this case, if you would not put any operation here, say, I will not put any operation here, it would be assumed that this is multiplication, but we... That, but we know that the y is positive and since in our equation of the line, it's always like plus or it could either be minus. There's always that operation between them. You should always put that here. Okay? And in any case, just to, be, you know, to, just to show you why we have that plus, basically when we transpose, okay, we have this y, siya yung una, okay? Then we add, we just simply add the newly transposed um, variable yan. and then again this addition we can rearrange so that's why it became like this okay so now in this case it's already in the general form or the standard form that we call then you are already good okay next example say we have 2 times x plus 5 is equals to 3 y minus 2. Yeah. Now, in this case, it would seem a little bit complicated, but the next thing that we you should be reminded of is that you must always eliminate Let's zoom out a little bit for that. So, hindi na kasi. Eliminate multiplication. It means that you must always remove multiplication by simply evaluating the multiplication. So, in this case, there's a multiplication here on the left side um, distributing 2 to x plus 5. So, 2 times x is 2x and 2 times 5 is simply 10. And the last thing that you need to do is you need to get back to transposition this one. Okay. So, transposition means all constants will be here and all y's would be and x's would be here. So, now let's transpose. Okay. So, let's just have that 2x. 3y becomes negative 3y, 10 becomes negative, so negative 2 minus 10. Giving you an answer, a final answer of negative 12. Okay? So in this case, you will notice that you are, all, you are already in the standard form or the general form. Then you are already done. Okay? And there are cases, let me just show to you. There are cases that your given would be like this. It would be like this. 
And for me, class, this is just for me, huh? it's much better to have the first term or the x variable to be positive. So now, what do we do when we change the sign of the x? Okay, so this is just another side note. When we change the sign of x, changing 1, change all. Changing 1, change all. So if you are changing 1, you must change all. So for example, I want to change the x because I want it to be positive. So if I change x to be positive, then I will change everything else. Okay, so that's just ano, for cosmetics. But it's not that really important. Okay, so let's have another example. Say we have um, 2x at uh, 2, 3x plus 2 is equals to um, 5 times 4y minus 6. Ayan. So you will have multiple operations, operators here. And multi uh, two multiplications. Okay, so we distribute two and five. Okay, giving us six x plus four. Five times four is twenty y minus thirty. Then we put everything together, all x's and y's on the left side, all constants on the right side, giving us six x minus twenty y is equals to negative thirty minus 4 and finally having the general form or standard form of negative um, 6x minus 20y is equal to negative 34 okay and we have our last case if you will have your fraction now in the fraction this is actually quite easy because what we will be doing here is we just simply have to do the cross product. Okay, so let me just write the ruling here on the side. Cross product lang. Uh, cross multiply. Actually, I don't know what to call this, but you are basically, you are just simply cross multiplying. So let's have our first rule. In our for first rule, it says that I must multiply the denominator of y to x. So this would be 3 times x. Next rule. This one. So the denominator of x to y. So you what what you need to do here is you need to multiply. Multiply. Yeah. And lastly, rule number three, this one times the right side. So last rule would be the product of the denominators denominators okay times the right side okay so what would happen here if we will try to apply the rules na so 3 times x is 3x 5 times y plus yana so it's always plus 5y is equals to 5 times 3 is 15 times 1 it's 15 still and this would be your standard form already it's quite easy right actually for me this is easier okay so let's have another example say we have x over 2x over 4 plus y over 3 is equals to um say 6 yeah. so what happens here guys cross multiply 2x times 3 is 6x plus 4 times y is 4y and we have 4 times 3 is 12. And let me just get my calculus it's a little bit big. 4 times 3 is 12. And 12 times 6 is 72. Okay, so giving us 6x plus 4y is equals to 72. Okay, and that would be it regarding the general form or the standard form of the equation of the line. So basically what we are doing is we need to find that. And we find that by just simply transforming the equation, okay? And manipulating the equation. So the other four forms of the equation of the line will be discussed on other videos, four separate videos. So if you would have any other questions regarding this, you can um, go back to the video. Or if you have questions, you can ask me in our group chat. Thank you again everyone for listening. And assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.